Are you looking for the best audio interfaces? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best audio interfaces on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Presonus Quantum 2626 Thunderbolt 3 Audio Interface. Presonus has a way of engineering pro-quality gear and making it available at a reasonable price point, and the company's Quantum 2626 may be the best example yet. Rack mountable and decked out with BNC word clock, audit, thunderbolt, 48 volt phantom power, 24 bit slash 192 kilohertz AD slash DA conversion, and a host of analog I.O. for multi-mic configurations and playback with reference grade mixing headphones to professional studio monitors. This is one of the best audio interfaces for home recording due to its sheer ability to integrate with other audio gear and expand along with the changing needs of most studios. Importantly, the Quantum 2626 comes bundled with digital audio workstation DAW, software, including Ableton Live Lite and Presonus's own Studio One Artist, making this an ideal option for jump-starting a new recording setup. It features a total of eight microphone preamps, two of which are compatible with instruments and six of which are compatible with line-level signals. Its A.S and S slash PDAF inputs allow users to expand to a whopping total of 26 inputs and 26 outputs, making this an easy and cost-effective choice if you have aspirations to grow your studio down the line. The unit also includes its own dedicated line returns for inline interfacing with outboard gear line compressors and equalizers. While this unit does connect via the latest and snappiest version of Thunderbolt, it doesn't include a Thunderbolt cable, which must be purchased separately and aren't inexpensive. This may turn off some users, but the Quantum 2626 is still much more affordable than many of its direct competitors by several hundred dollars, adding to its allure as the best for home studios. Admittedly, its limit of two instrument inputs affects its usefulness as a guitar or bass preamp. However, this can be circumvented by using a direct injection DI, box like the Whirlwind M2, which allows a quarter-inch connections to be converted into XLR form for use with any microphone preamp. Number 2. Universal Audio Volt 2 USB Audio Interface. A clean rectangular chassis measuring roughly 7 by 5 by 2 inches and weighing just 1.4 pounds, the Universal Audio Volt 2 interface offers both panache and portability. The Volt 2's control panel is straightforward, with clearly labeled gain controls and monitoring options alongside two combo XLR slash 1 4th inch inputs, which accept mic, instrument, and line level signals. A few backlit buttons offer access to 48-volt phantom power, instrument signal selection, and the Volt's distinctive vintage mode, which engages solid-state electronics to add soft clipping and warm saturation to the input signals in the style of the Universal Audio Solo 610 tube preamp. Compared to audio recorded with similar two input interfaces, the Volt 2's converters, informed by the flagship Apollo line of interfaces, and its max audio conversion rate of 24 bit 192 kHz help the interface sound distinctly open in its high frequency range. There's a relatively detailed mid range that doesn't suffer from much of the obscure and muddy character that is often a hallmark of its price range. And the vintage mode engages a soft clipper to flatten peaks in the input signal in a behavior similar to valves, lending a character that our reviewer found worked particularly well for early rock and Motown-esque bass and guitar tones. In general, UA has been on a real winning streak in 2022-2023, with impressive, expressive releases such as the SD1 Dynamic Mic, the UA Sphere DLX modeling microphone system, and a series of UAFX portable processing engines slash amp emulators for guitarists. One significant design limitation of the Volt 2 is its lack of onboard DSP processing, which is required to run Universal Audio's vast library of over 200 plugins. This is somewhat remedied yet further convoluted by the recent introduction of UAD Spark, a subscription service offering access to around 20 of the company's plugins without an Apollo interface or other external processors. Long story short, you'll save a lot of money opting for this 2 and slash 2 out Volt series interface over an Apollo, but you won't be able to use it to run most of Universal Audio's plugins. However, you will get an incredibly flexible and relatively affordable travel interface with the potential to add a distinctly pleasing pre-mixed analog quality to input sources. Number 3. Focusrite Scarlett 2 i 2 3rd Gen USB Audio Interface. Even minimalist recording setups require robust enough gear to deliver high-quality audio. The Scarlett 2i2 is a compact USB-powered workhorse that offers pro features like combo inputs, 
48 volt phantom power for condenser microphones, and 24 bit 192 kHz analog to digital conversion at an affordable price point, making it the best audio interface for live streamers, mobile recordists, voiceover artists, and more. Most basic live streaming and podcasting setups require one or two microphones at most for voice capture, so the two input capacity of the Scarlett 2i2 makes it a lean and fitting choice for such a context. This stripped-down design allows it to draw all its power off of USB, which makes it more compact than some of its competitors that require an external power supply. Its minimal capacity also makes it a solid option for use as a stereo output when using software synths, samplers, and other line-level computer-based sources. While the Scarlett 2i2's small but mighty design is one of its main strengths, it doesn't have the capacity nor the expandability of larger audio interfaces. Other competing items like the Audion ID14 are just as small but include add-out inputs for adding 8 more preamps to your setup should the need arise. Suppose you want to record more than 3 sources simultaneously, whether they're microphones or instruments. In that case, you might opt for one of these ADOT compatible interfaces or grab one like the Focusrite Scarlett 18i20, which includes 8 of its own. Number 4. IK Multimedia iRig HD2 Guitar Audio Interface. If you're looking for the best audio interface for guitar, the iRig HD2 is a robust quick start option that's small enough to fit on any desk or slip into a gig bag. Though minimal in its design, it sports thoughtful features like onboard level controls, a built-in headphone output, and an optional amp throughput for sending signal to a computer and an amplifier simultaneously. It's compatible with Mac and PC and connects using either lightning or USB, cables included. Besides its portable shape and its ability to capture high-quality 24-bit-96 kHz audio, one of the iRig HD2's most significant features is its bundled amplifier simulation software, Amplitube. The program includes a host of virtual pedal effects and amplifier cabinets for creating realistic, studio-quality electric guitar recordings without an amplifier or external FX rig. Not only does the software eliminate the need for bulky recording equipment, but it allows users to record loud electric guitar tones in near-complete silence, making this a good option for recording at night, in shared spaces, and on the go. The iRig HD2 is undoubtedly a great choice for mobile recording, minimalist setups, and guitar demo use. Still, it can only accommodate a single a quarter-inch instrument input, so it's not compatible with microphones or multi-instrument setups. Additionally, when used with an iPad or an iPhone, this interface occupies the device's lightning port and eliminates the ability to charge during use. If you are recording for long periods on an iOS device, bring a charger or a battery pack to juice up between takes. Number 5. Presonus AudioBox 9625th Anniversary USB Audio Interface If you need a simple, portable audio interface for powering a small podcasting setup or bare-bones recording studio on a budget, the two-channel Presonus AudioBox is worth a look. Its two combo inputs accommodate XLR microphones, as well as a quarter-inch instrument inputs, and it has simple stereo outputs for a set of speakers as well as a single headphone output for monitoring. A knob on the front panel allows users to adjust the mix between their pre-recorded audio and their live signal, eliminating the common latency and delay issues typical of digital recording. Our pick for the best budget audio interface, this unit is bundled with a significant amount of recording software, including Ableton Live Lite and Studio One Artist Edition, which makes it a good option for users who are starting from square one. It also has high-quality converters capable of recording at fidelity up to 24-bit-96 kHz, and it includes MIDI inputs and outputs for connecting keyboards and other devices. The bare minimum design of the audio box comes with some perks and drawbacks. For example, it's powered via a single USB connection and doesn't require a separate wall wart, so it's perfect for remote laptop recording away from electricity. At the same time, it can't provide independent phantom power to each input, so you can't use a powered condenser microphone and a sensitive ribbon microphone simultaneously. The single headphone output also requires users to bring their own splitter or headphone amp if they're working with others. Still, if you can work within its limits, the audio box is a great value. Want something even more compact and inexpensive? If you only need to plug in one instrument and one microphone, the Presonus AudioBox Go 2x2 USB-C interface offers bus-powered AV-DA in the most pocketable package.